Hey guys, welcome back to Little Lady Please. I would like to share with you this book. It's called Word Detective, and it's grade two. And I am really, really excited. Well, I was excited to look into it because just a little bit of history about myself. Um, the school that I work in, I often get children, even as far as 10 years old, who cannot read or spell. And I'm like, really? What have you been doing till now? So I'm not a reading specialist, but the kids come to me and I actually push them to grade level, which is no feat in itself. Anyway, so when I got a book like this, I actually have one student right now. I think she's like nine years old and it says improved spelling. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is great. I know grade two is not her grade, but who knows? Maybe we'll find something. Then I have another student who's 10 and is like, I want to be a better speller. And I'm like, okay. So I've been using my techniques on these two children, one for a year, one for a year and a half. And they have flown in. Now there's still ways to go. But we're averaging about a grade level to a grade level and a half per year in terms of spelling. So I can say with certainty my techniques are working. And like I said, when I got this, I'm like, oh, this is cool. More tools to use. So the first thing I did was open it up. And again, this is grade two. So in my mind and how I teach my students, in my mind, I think of grade two. Yes to pretty pictures, because like who doesn't love a pretty picture? And I also think of phonics and patterns and a review of first grade with the, like in first grade, I would teach is, you know, obviously the letter sounds, the basic vowel sounds and some complex vowels like E, 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 A. And so I would assume, again, this is spelling, to help build a foundation would be to include review the, the double vowels, E, 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 A, and then add on some... I guess, difficult things like P-H, I-N-G, E-D. And that's what I was thinking. So I hope, and, and I also am a realist. And I'm like, okay, different approach. Let's check it out. <clears throat> and I see chapter one, family. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, you got the pretty picked colors here. The colors are very attractive. But I'm like, where's the spelling? Where's the phonics? Where's the learning? But okay, I give it a second chance. I look into it. You know, look, go here. I see mother, father, sister, brother, baby, uncle, aunt, pets, home, family. And I'm like, uh, excuse me? It's a list to memorize. And I'm like, no, this is not spelling. This is memorization spit back. And let me tell you what I mean about this. Let's take the word sister. You got the short I here and everything else. And you have the E-R. So, I and er. Now, if I taught a kid I and er, they could read the whole word sister. TH aside, they know the er sound, so now they could read mother, father. Throw in the TH. I taught them the er sound. Baby? I mean, hello. Not related at all. And where are the activities to learn? So, yeah. They take the word, they write it down. Where's the improved spelling? So let's say they go home and they memorize how to spell the word mother. They are not a better speller. They memorized and they spit back. Oh, then we have write your hardest words here again. Well, reality is they're all hard words. Because guess what? They didn't learn to spell. So I'm like, okay, let's check this out. One activity. Another activity. Okay, so this is, I guess, kind of cutesy. You have the words, you know, relate, mother, father, sister, brother, and they all kind of, the letters that go down and down and down. But I'm like, wait, this is a game. It should be done maybe once or twice a year just because, like, hey, who wants to actually learn all day? But where's the teaching? My dad is called my... This is sentences. Hello. This book is about spelling. I mean, if you wanted to go traditional, I'm okay with dictation. Not a fan of it, but at least I understand that. Oy. So, again, we go on, and this is all activity after activity after activity. And I'm like, no spelling. So I figured out maybe it's just the first chapter. I don't know. Maybe just important words, you know, words to learn. So I go to chapter two. Let's go to chapter two together to see what's cooking up there. Words to learn. Friends! And I'm like, what? 
Okay, so Pal and Buddy are friends. Now that remembers, I can spit back. Grin is not my friend. I am not friends with a grin. I am not friends with a funny. And I am not friends with my toys. And if I was friends with my toys, I'd have problems. So at this point, I'm like, oh my gosh, just stop. Just stop. Now, I happen to have a very sweet, adorable nephew who is, as far as I know, an average speller and who likes playing word games and who would like this book. So yes, this book has a purpose because I received it. I can give it to him and he will enjoy it. But in terms of the title, to improve spelling, I'm confused because friends are nouns. And funny is not. And so what I took away from this book is that, number one, I am not a better speller. Number two, there were no patterns to stimulate my brain to help me become a better speller. And number three, now this is on the rare exception, if I want to throw random words at a child and say memorize it and spell them and spit them back to me, this is basically the only thing you're going to get. So, if you have kids who like to play word games, by all means, you're going to get a whole bunch of word games. Education, zero. Word games, plenty. So, now that I did, you know, if you do want quality spelling, I don't have actual programs to tell you right now, but I would suggest you go to YouTube or you go to Google and this is what I do. And like I said, my kids are advancing one to one and a half grade levels per year. The ones that are behind, there's three keywords I put in and I'm going to leave a link. I'm sorry, not a link. I'm going to leave the keywords below just to help you out. And they're all very different. So choose what you like. The first one is Montessori. Google Montessori and spelling or phonics, Montessori phonics to get what you want. You kids will be good, real spellers. Second one is Orton Gillingham. I don't use her program, but I have heard wonderful, wonderful things. And I try to implement her ideals, which is similar to Montessori. So that works. And number three, if your child is completely out of the box and just likes to dance and fluff around all day, Google Waldorf. Waldorf and spelling. So I'm going to leave the three programs below to help you actually help your children become better spellers because this will not do it. If you want your kids to be a better speller, you need to build them up with a solid phonics foundation first and then they will not become better spellers. They will become great spellers. If you have any other programs that work, let me know below because you know what? Like I said, I'm always looking for new ways to improve spelling and reading comprehension and all these other fun things. So let me know in the comment box below. Thank you guys for stopping by. Happy playing.